Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cas Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, in which we are, of course, well, doing really well against a common France right now, which I'm not sure why, but they look like they abandoned their positions. Um, we've taken about 200,000 casualties. We've delivered quite a few casualties to the French themselves, but also we did get the Italian, was it Republic? The Italian Federation into the Orax Pact as well, which is very good, even though they're not doing so well. But we had the death of Velma II. Our cause of Velma II has died of a pulmonary embolism in the Charité Hospital in Berlin today. It is the end of an age. Wilhelm II was the last European monarch who reigned during the 19th century, and his whole life he tried to uphold, sometimes succeeding, often failing the values that he identified with that era. With his death, the 20th century will at last be fully upon us. All over the Empire, flags are flying at half mass, and public ceremonies are being organized to honor the Weltkriegskaiser, the Kaiser who won the war for Germany. One of the onlookers in Berlin is Kronprinz Friedrich Wilhelm, will now have to be uphold the honor of the Kaiserreich in the world. The Kaiser did long live Kaiser Wilhelm III. Look at that portrait. Cool. Um, a couple comments as well. Uh, oh, I forgot to write them down. But uh, we'll be, let's go a little slow here and do this. So someone said, go tab, go in, a, in an earlier save, tab over and see why it took so long for us to go to the polls. Well, one of the things that they did have was the exact same guy that we have for Chief of Army, Guns and Butter. They get extra organization, less supply consumption, daily army XP. So they had a little more organization. But for this guy, for the Chief of Staff, they did went, they go, they went with the... This, no, 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 not this one. This one. This one? Chief of Defense, yeah. They got plus 10 max entrenchment, and they also went down Grand Battle Plan as well, so they get plus 20 max entrenchment, which is why it took so god awfully long to kill them off. So that was, I think, the main reason they had extra organization plus 20 in, uh, division entrenchment, which is ridiculous. And yeah, I think that was pretty much it. There's nothing else special I could find about it, so. I apologize once again for the last episode. The poll is just taking so long to kill them. I'm trying to kill them, but you know what? With that. How much I pull on out? I don't think I've ever played pulling on Kaiser Redux. Maybe we'll try it out sometime, though. With the passing of the great Valkyrie's Kaiser, Velma II, Velma III has given a grand speech on his coronation day to guide all the Germans to, uh, towards prosperity and to safeguard our interests across the globe. Heil der M. Kranz, my friends. Yes. You know, I forgot that we had this. We might as well use it. I wanted to wait till we had tanks, because we are trying to make tank divisions here. And looking okay, but still. Still. Uh, obviously, we don't have a very good uh, navy yet. And there was a comment about the navy. Why are we losing so many ships? It's probably because, first of all, they're all outdated. Our ships suck. They're not very good. They're, like, from the Valkyrie. I haven't really updated them. We haven't done that much with our naval reduction either, which is probably a mistake. But then again, there's only so much you can research at one time. So, yeah, there is that. Uh, less supply consumption? Ooh, yes. More daily command power, which we don't really need, but we'll take it. We'll gladly take it. No, overall, not bad. Not bad overall. This war has been... Easier than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be more difficult just because sometimes it could be really difficult for Germany. Then again, that might be Kaiser Reich instead of Kaiser Redux. Oh, look at the circle. And I, I really don't know where all these enemy divisions went because they have 167. But as you can tell from the front, they're not down here. I think they're all like stationed in Greece or even here in uh, Italy, which is looking god awful. Oh, we got a circle. God dang it. Oh, that sucks, bro. We might still be able to save them, but we'll see. Von Manstein didn't expect him to be over there. Hey, the fall of Paris. A victory over the Communist France is now all but assured. Yeah. We should have a lot of divisions here, because they took out Bulgaria, which is in our faction, but that sucks. Oh, hello. No idea, but we're doing really well against these guys, so. We're just going to keep on going, and there's no reason to go to war with Russia. But at this point, we might as well try it. Ooh, the fall of Paris. Paris, the capital of the Commune of France, the center of the syndicalist movement, has been captured. We're facing resistance from civilian population, but we'll soon take full control of the army. Also, Sudwest Africa did capitulate, so which does suck, but there's some coming back so I have been trying to get them as a collaboration government over here too so not bad really not bad he's probably promoted um uh, local recruitment nope 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 legation council honestly this could have been a lot worse campaign I mean the biggest the polls <gasps> Ooh, our first division yes yes and they have two tank divisions on them yes 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 agent injured all sucks um but yeah not bad overall Heinz thank you come to France see what we can do with these guys oh and we just finished up black money reforms which gives us so much more consumer goods hopefully Yes, we removed Black Monday reforms and way more stability. Ah, I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Reform Middle Europa. We can lose political power for daily output. Yes, please. For far too long, Middle Europa has existed in name only. It is time for us to start reforming it to actually benefit its members and thus us. The first step is unified tariffs. Yes, a full economic block. Good, 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 good. Oh, some of you guys don't have orders just because we literally took over the areas that you were uh, discovering. We'll put it like that. Very good, very good. Anything for you up here? No? Heinz? But seriously, why is Russia taking so long? We're running out of fuel, too. The divisions aren't even on the border, for the most part. Like, we are we are ready to 
just go in and just kill and wipe them. Just stack them all. Wipe them all out. Any other armor? No. Anything over here? No. Modell's pretty good. Modell's usually a pretty good general. But yeah, you see, we're doing all the stuff for Super Best Africa. We want more legitimacy. We want more manpower. We want more, more donations. Not bad overall. Gives you more um, army XP, though. But as you can see, we're using these heavy tanks. And on these heavy tanks, which I personally like to use, at least 100% reliability just because I don't want them to break down for any reason. They're faster than normal. Slightly faster than normal for heavy tanks. And they've got a good amount of armor. Not great, but a good amount. Piercing zoo. I think went down. Uh, probably because of the speed. Soft attack's okay. Heart attack's not bad. Breakthrough's okay. Uses quite a bit of fuel, but, you know, what else is new? Oh, did I put you on the border? Are you here on the border? Yeah, go into. Can I actually go in as well? Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. I'd be disappointed if they could, but that's okay. So, yeah. For right now, the goal is making a lot of fuel. Also, we're building a Deutsch Ostasia because we're importing a lot of stuff from them, so... There's that. Uh, build more millies. Build some roads. Roads are good as well, but we also want some more uh, of this, too. We're gonna get a lot of fuel because up next is our production, a lot of production of naval bombers, so we can naval invade the Union of Britain. Come on, we can save Italy. We can save Italy. I know we can. We can save those things as well, those horses. Oh boy, cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them. This is there's only sixty divisions on the front too, and it's because they're only twenty combat width. Actually, twenty three combat width, I think, right? Yeah, because we threw on one thing of Artie. I want to throw on two things of Artie, but. We don't have enough already for that yet. We got plenty of guns though. Light tanks are okay. Uh, how many heavy tanks? Fourteen is not enough. Oh, yeah. We'll take some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, this has not been bad. Like I said earlier, except for the stupid poles. But whatever. Hey, there they go too. Nice. Yay! Hopefully, we can save this horse division. Not bad. I don't Empire still fighting at forty-one. Istanbul packed. The Entente, of course. Cameroon. Army Department. Naval Department. Yes. Honestly, I just want to go into Russia. While we're making more planes down here. because The Russians, I, I don't want to underestimate them. I really don't. But, we should be able to do okay against them, right? Anything here? No? So, you... I don't want to sit in Italy. You're going to come up here. Come to Paris. Hang on, Paris. You will feel, feel will be important. Building up more roads, too, is good, so we can just build up even more, 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 more. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, road communist influence, yes. Our efforts must be to convince the French people that the communist government is and always was an illegitimate construction, as well as their true oppressor. If they're well to fight on behalf of the syndicalists of collapses, there will be little opposition to our occupation. Invite the French national state back to France. The French national state has far more ability than we do to rule the communist of France's legacy, but only if they hold enough territory in the continent of France to claim some kind of victory. Currently, that isn't the case. In order to ex expedite the progress of defeating the French resistance, perhaps it's worth considering whether we could turn over some of our occupied territory to them in the south. At the very least, it would establish some gratitude on their parts. We'll do that after um, we're done with uh, Italians. Oh, yeah, do that. Resistance, yes. War propaganda is okay. Falkers are very nice. Yeah, our ships are not very good. So We're trying to get some subs, too, which I think it should help out quite a bit. And as someone did recommend, we get better torpedoes as well, which would be very, 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 very good. Better carry naval bombers, not bad. Could use more fighters in general, because we're definitely going to need them. Uh, go to town to 10, that's fine for now. Anything else here? Nope. Good. Kill off all these SRI members. And then, actually, you guys. Uh, you're not bad, Von Manstein, Goderian. I like both. This guy's actually a tank guy, though. Can you become like a tank guy as well? I know you're using a lot of horses, but Panzer Leader, how close are you? Not close at all. Four, three, four, five, four. Three, four, three, three, four, three. Level four, level five. Yeah, I think this is the way to go, but we're gonna sweep first. I wanna get this little pocket done first. Go in, Torino. Nice. Very nice. They're done, good. So I'm gonna get you guys out of here too. Improve tank upgrades, nice, go there. Anything over here? Trying to specialist planning. Army regrouping, recovery rate's not bad. Oh, we'll wait for them. Alright, so after this, make sure we get the best naval bombers. 1941, of course. We need definitely more fuel because we're running out already. Which does suck. Over here. Ah, uh, we all invite them eventually. Not yet, though. Not yet. Give us time. Um, I don't want to send you all here, but on second thought, maybe we do. See what we can do. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to be defeated here. That's nice. 
It's actually very, very, very nice. Uh, War propaganda. Legacy is very high. Cancel unlease. Political actions. We can close out of that one. Maybe import a little bit more fuel, maybe? Hello. Sure, guys. Oil. Iran. We love Iran. There we go. That should definitely help us out for a while. Keep building, 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 building. Three shippies. You guys are doing okay over here still. Is there anything about Russia? Our former military Europe is almost down too. That's good. I'll get more rubber up here, but we don't need more rubber. We need more fuel. But as we did say in the last time, we didn't. We're not going to go to Europe. Europarat. Europarat. Oh, Europe. Commission. Deep in Polish ties. Huh. Bring back order. Well, again, okay, everybody did that. It's going to Ostval, Back Bragadin. More population. Wow. Resource efficiency gain. Monthly population. Nice. Grain steel programs. European exchange program. Develop border regions. Uh, well, I did say we do this one. So the resounding success of the initial Europa, middle Europa reforms, we shall expand and extend it to include further industrial measures under single Europa Commission. This body would focus on harmonizing industrial regulations across middle Europa and unifying the econo economies of all member states uh, over time. So he has agreed to our proposal of a common currency for middle Europa and will use the so-called Europa mark from now on. Wunderbar. As well as Bulgaria. Wunderbar, wunderbar, wunderbar. And the Chechen Republic says no. That's sad. Brazil! Even Brazil! They're not even in Europe! Estonia agreed. Italian Federation, of course. Estonia. Denmark, of course, agreed. Congo, Vrishtat refused. Cuba refused. I mean, they're not even in Europe. The Ukraine says agreed. Yeah, oh, we have the Baltic Federation here, too. It's not bad. Stegman, still here. Nice. Finland, of course, agreed as well, which is very, very good. How are you doing down here? I didn't tell you to go yet. Go ahead. Zambia, yes. Make sure we get enough planes down here to do enough damage, because that was one of the reasons why we didn't do so well last time against Poland. Not enough planes. Kamilukia, yep. fall of Mexico City. A second piece with honor. With the fall of France, our armed forces have unsuccessfully tried to gain control over the British Isles, which is untrue because we haven't even tried, really, yet, and to successfully end the war in our favor. Unfortunately, the Republican resistance has proven stronger than we previously anticipated. An attempt to launch a full-scale naval invasion has soured. We can either now continue the armed struggle or try to end this feudal conflict by way of peace treaty. It's time for an armistice. Why, why would we do that? No, no, no. We have plans. We've got goals, man. You, me. We got big goals. G-O-A-L-S. Goals. Lots of big goals. Scout planes. Why do they have scout planes, man? I get it that you want to use them before the war, but during war, there's no point. Well, I don't have a big point to use them. Eh, I don't want extra planes here. I don't want to see any extras. Because they're very annoying. Even to our own detriment. We need more chromium for tanks, too. Alright, so that's the case. Uh, for these guys... Remove some of these he these light tanks. Nice. Good. Even more armor now. You guys keep going. You're doing great. Yeah, we might we might literally just, just go to Russia after this. We might as well. Um, do the southern plains and around here ish. We even build up uh, some supply bases here too. Look at that. Boom. Over there is very nice. Over there. Uh this is actually very nice too. You guys, make sure you get enough supply. You guys, you as well. Anything else? It's fine. Yes, 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 yes. We don't, do we have to go to war with them? No, they're still fighting Turkmenistan. Oh my god. Why? That's so much manpower. Why are they losing so badly? Are we out of artillery? How bad are we hurting? Uh, I mean, fighting down here is really bad, but whatever. Anything over here? Army logistics, attrition, yeah. Oh! Okay, then. Checks gone socialists. Well, that's interesting. You know, Britain's effort is completely done, which is nice. Let's focus all our efforts on Russia next. And so we want to do that. There you go. Hmm. I don't think we'll ever use these, go against war these guys in this campaign, but that's okay. We can do it anyways. And we'll finish this off with Air Force Department. Go down there. Oh. Might as well do that. Got plenty of air XP, though. Plenty, 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 plenty of air XP. Alright, so keep making more refiners, because we are going to be putting a lot of planes down. Oh. Jimmy Proper's been assembled. It's good. Just in case, make sure we put some air bases here too, because we're gonna need them. Hmm. 
I mean, realistically, we want roads here too, because it does help load supply. It's not very much, but building up infrastructure here too helps load supply. Which is very, very nice. Good. Along the front, best roads. Nothing but the best for everybody. Okay. I was just thinking about lag in this game, in this mod. Can you imagine if we had, uh, <laughs> like the TNO economy system in this, in this mod? You know how bad it would lag? <laughs> That'd be so bad. Alright, so. King of Spain wants to join the Rex back. They have announced the recent one to join the Rex back. How should we respond? No. God, no. Alright, so these guys, we're going to end up probably going to war them too. I think these guys should have it down here. I could be wrong, but. Ooh, what happened down there? What's America looking like? Very Pacific y. Very, very Pacific. Which is weird because usually the Reds win, at least in my you know, time here, but not always. Not always. Interesting. Alright, whatever. Yay! They joined Middle Europa! Yay! After Europa Commission. Is there anything about Russia? Okay. So if we do that, then yeah. The oil must flow. Our colonial empire is a body in oil that is blood that fuels it. We must secure and maintain our supplies we avoid total disaster. We need import more oil? Okay. A spot promoted, very nice. It's gonna hurt us, but whatever. Because we don't need to import that much, but okay, whatever. Uh, Twitch us Asian, yeah, don't do that from them. Republic of Thailand's better. So we can so their autonomy doesn't go up all the way. I'll bring back order, nice. Nice. Russian Empire. Uh, Ottomans. Nice. Alright, so if you want to read actually let's do that one first. And if you want to read about deep and Polish ties, there you go. <laughs> Screw the Polish state. And bring back order, there you go too. From the Caucasus. Uh, the Caucasus is a region rich with oil and filled with many small regimes, many of which are that are within our sphere of influence. We should begin to Levy this influence in the pursuit of oil. We love oil. Nothing like oil. Yes, you see. Um, 85 days. We'll wait for the one to get with Russia to get done first. So, over on the bad. Could be a lot, lot worse. Look at all those millions being made. So, where are we on production? So, what are we lacking first? Artillery. Our plane's looking okay. So, artillery is important. So, I'll increase it up to there. Ooh, advanced subs. Nice. Um, tactical bombers are not bad. We want where are our naval bombers? Max those out. Three, go up to three, and get another thing of fighters. That'd be important. We can let time go on. I don't really care. I'll get some of that. We're gonna need more rubber and aluminum anyway, so do that too. We're definitely gonna need all that extra stuff. Once these guys are done, and then we'll do that. Oh, so that's African XL leader offers services. Nice. Extraction? Sure, why not? Ooh, Unity Parade sounds really nice. Or propaganda, probably don't need that one anymore. Guys, please. We're over here just to help you out anyways. Make sure that's fine. Oh! Just don't deal with our land auction, which sucks, but whatever. How many planes do we have here? I want to make sure that we have enough guys here. As well. Fighter 1s, huh? Oh. It's fine, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you guys have no planes on you guys. Oh, so that's a mistake. That's a huge mistake going into Russia. With no planes? Oh, boy. Thanks for request arms. The Kingdom of Finland, having experienced a weapon shortage as of recent, has come to us in an attempt to procure weapons and fill the void created due to years of neglecting the military. Oh, shame on you. Should we provide them with necessary arms? No, of course not. We have nothing to spare. Absolutely nothing to spare. Extraction good. More fuel for the wall machine. Um, naval stuff. We got that one done, which is actually really good. Let's see, those two done as well. Uh, naval major defense, maybe. It is 41. It's almost 42. So let's grab more research speed. Nice. Oh, it's a good carrier. Good. And a proof carrier, too, at that. How many heavy tanks do we have? 108. Nice. We can continue replacing some of these panzers. A lot of panzers with better panzers. If we had more army XP, whoopsie. Ah. They are their divisions, which means they should probably hopefully start losing to these guys. Can we look here? Yeah, they should be able to hold out. Right, right. I think over here, strategic bombers. Bombers. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got some tactical bombers. We can use those guys. There you go. Uh, one go there. 
One go there. People can't let their lend lease. It's fine. Don't really care. Fighters. Go there. Go there. And it's just going to be like go. Not bad. Oh, hello. If you force the attack into here, you can still win. Now, I'm surprised they haven't tried to naval invade us yet. Made another carrier, huh? All we do is make carriers. Well, we've got too many in each one, so we're going to wait for that one. And then we're going to go... Oh. oh! we can't do that one. Oh, that sucks. Well, green and steel. We did everything on the left side. Artillery, embrace synthetic rubber. This is... What's Brandenburg. Von Braun. Uh, independent Luftwaffe, which I think I normally do. Battlefield support. Where are we at for this one? We want battlefield support anyways. Honestly, it doesn't even matter, since we would have it all done. So, fighter miles would be nice, close air support. I'm pretty sure I always do the left one here. So, I, I know, I always usually do this one, I think. Do which one? No, I never do this one. I never do, because I never go strategic destruction. I'm probably not going to go this way, but we can look at this one, too. Singapore. Uh, airborne, air experience. Cold of aviation is not bad. Air doctrine cost goes down. Yeah, for long-term stuff, this is better to do. Finish 1934 naval plan. The Constellation Marine stands unchallenged on any sea for now. The Union of Britain, French, Commie, the Americans, and Japanese all justly seek to catch up with us, and if left unchecked, our naval domination will end as quickly as it began. We should continue the large naval modernization project initiated back in 34 to keep our fleet one step ahead of our rivals. We're only eight years late. That's all. That's all. Guys, please finish. Down here, please. I don't want to send my tanks down here because that'd be really bad. So, we're not going to. Actually, you guys are... Oh my gosh, 14 count with... Oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, no. We need more armies. Where are you guys at? Are you still hanging out here? If anyone needs a train, please go right ahead. But after the naval plan, expand Wilhelm's often, supply lines of Singapore, heed Donitz's words, versus listen to Patrick and Raider. That's all least it's fine. Uh, which way would we go with that one? We went with Fleet and Bean. We went to Donitz. The highly respected and talented Carl Dunnitz reminds us that the success of ocean-going navies is dependent on them actively controlling the seas. All fleets should strive for large decisive battles and destroy the opposition before they get a chance to intercept their supply routes. This doctrine has been dubbed the Presenflotte. Hmm. Cool. But these ships aren't too bad. Hopefully we got enough naval XP to do this. We don't. God dang it. Arrgh. Well, that's what we're going to have to do for now. Um, Consecration of France. I just make sure as I don't have independence yet. There you go. There you go. There you go. Not bad. We are making some mechanized too, which is really nice. Anything over here we really care about? Panzers. Make them slightly chunkier. But you get a little bit more armor, which is nice. And more soft attack, more hard attack, a little more supply use, but whatever. A little more weight, it's fine. And after this one, we'll definitely he doing it his woods. <sighs> this is so sad. How many more days do we have until we go to one of these guys? About a month left, which does kind of suck, but we're still building ourselves up, which is very good. More fuel, please. More fuel, more fuel. Actually, we could probably... Eh, we don't really need to lower how much fuel we're importing anyways. Um, You might have to do that area too, maybe? See what you can. Maybe we explore out a little bit more. Just kind of go all around the area here. Definitely not an English channel just yet because we don't have enough planes. Makes sense, but still. Overall, not bad. My goodness. Why? why? What's this? Not bad. Hmm. Why is it still so bad down here, too? Blood and Lisa. Huh? Well, as soon as we go to war with Russia, we'll go to war with these guys, too. We should have enough divisions. Yeah, they only have one division. Yeah, they're looking not great. Do we need a supply base anywhere? Um, honestly, not really too much. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there goes Wizard. Oh, wow. They finally died, huh? Even if we build it, we, they still might lose it, which is not good. Planes, we got plenty of anti-air now. Wow. Wowzers. Naval bombers could be looking a little better. Plus, their sports are not bad either. 
put you guys above here first, and then do that. Go up to two. And fighters are at 30. Not bad. Guns, I, I kind of doubt we're out of guns. We need more fighters, but guns. Yeah, we're at 30,000. Which actually is not as much as I thought we would have, but whatever. Public recognition, yes. Weapons. Joint training, which gives you flat army, navy, air XP. Holy crap, this is bad. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Guys, why'd you lose those divisions, basically? Holy crud. Here, do that. Holy crap, that's so bad. Leave it to the AI to screw things up for you a little bit. Oh, nice. Keep seeing a convoys. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Get more naval XP. Come on, we just gotta hurry this up. I, we gotta save Austria. The 1934 naval program. La Casa Lucia Marine stands as the strongest navy in the world is in the year 1936, but many challenges still face us in the coming years. The expansionist Empire of Japan and the resurgent or cynicalist fleets of Britain and France are, of course, both key future enemies, seeking to unseat German naval superiority across the world. In 1934, we started a major naval construction plan, and many of the ships laid down in that period are well on their way to being finished. Unfortunately, with the naval industry limited due to the ongoing economic malaise, we'll have to limit ourselves to one area of production. The question is, what should we focus on during the next six months? I want more U-Boats, but we're going to battleships, because it takes so long to produce. If we can get some free, halfway completed ships, or battleships, that'd be really good, actually, too. No? Okay. Never mind. Independent Sea Battalion, Marine Transports, U-Boat Warfare, Renew Tippets Program, which is... Not bad. Deutschen Beherrscht de Mir. Not bad. Willemshafen, which is good. And Singapore. Uh, yeah, I'll do this one. Expand Willems often. We require an expanded port for basing both of our subs in a larger fleets. Investing in the crucial Kaiserlicher Marine base at Willemshafen is a good start for accomplishing this. Absolutely. Ah, <sighs> now that brings a smile to my face. Another tank division. Yes. I'm gonna do some horses here just in case, because supplies are gonna get really bad around there. Yes, yes, finally we're doing something here. Oh, I can do that too. You are fine. Good, 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 good. Keep going. More fuel, more fuel. All we want here is fuel. Just tons and tons and tons and tons of fuel. You know, actually, I don't want to be de dealing with this. Let's see. Yeah, the subs. There you go. Who are you? You both see Aussie Flotilla? Aussie Flotilla? Close this one. Where is it? There you go. Good enough for me. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, I actually sunk something. Hey! Three battleships. Not bad. Ah, they're throwing more divisions on the front. Good, good. Let them, let them do so. They have every right to do so. Oh, yes. Back on my thingies. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Not bad. We're still getting some civvies up, too. Wow, look at that. More millies, though. More millies. We have m more than enough resources for everything here. You can do that. You can do that. Make our guys better. Do that. Make ourselves better for now as well. Plus air support. Ah, there we go. Now I'll go to war with these guys, too. 30 is not bad. Well. Are we ready to go? Not really. Um, cast maybe? Give him about a day, can we do this? No, not too much more. Give him some of that and give him some of this too. Is that everything we've got? So we got a lot of things over here. Not oh, some more fighters. Not bad. Anything else? Eh, not too much. We got more naval bombers, which is very nice too. Yes, I know we're out of fighters. Yes, yes, yes. I do understand. Well, we can see what happens. A new 1812 for them. Russian boots march west of Germany. Russia seemingly recovering. Well, actually, we're the ones invading them, so... I don't know about that, but okay. How strong are they? Half a million manpower. They're only on, of course, volunteer only. Uh, they've got plenty of logistics stuff, which is fine. Stockpile, they have plenty of equipment as well. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can do okay here. Maybe not, you know. We'll see. But they're still fighting these guys, which is very bad for them. Incredibly bad for them, actually. Hopefully their tanks can do really well. Tanks, horses, and motorized. Yeah, actually... I should have done this before we went to war. Change it back to motorize. Uh, go mechanize, but we're gonna motorize fully. Got like 20 combos or something like that. Engineers. Fine. Do that for now. Make you guys even stronger. Are the 
They push into Finland? Where did Finland's divisions go? Hmm. Good. Nice. Do they have enough divisions for the entire border? For the entire... Yeah, they sort of do. Ooh, supplies are really bad down here, too. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. You know what? Focus solely on this area. It'd be pretty bad, but we should still might be able to do something here, maybe. We'll see. A lot of, a lot of red and green. <laughs> That's a lot of losses already. Better rubber? Get more rubber. After advanced oil processing, it's only 42, so let's get some better guns, maybe? Oh, let's do this stuff first, because we're already in the, immediately in the field. Let's see. There you go. And only one more of you guys. There you go. Thank you. Let's go, 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 go. Not bad so far. How are the tanks doing? How are the cavalry doing? Doing okay. Definitely doing okay here. We can go right here and just cut them off. <clears throat> That'd be good, but I guess not. Okay then. Whatever. Not bad, Vibets would be nice. Of course, we'll have to build more supply, more roads. Eventually, we'll turn the tanks around and we'll invade uh, these guys over here, so we'll see. Oh, do we have too many? Oh, we do have too many visions there. Uh, he had his words, very good. Another general? Ah, yes, please. There you go. Better. Much better. Good on something, yes. Ah, ah, yes. Good, good, good. Ah, ah. The other part of the fleet has not been sunk, too. Waiting to go to war with these guys. Just waiting, 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 waiting. Um, do that, too. Get some dockyards, too, going. That'd be good. How much more manpower do these guys have? They have? A lot of divisions, some manpower. Not really sure. Oh, we have those separate down for the rush. I should have this one earlier, but my bad. My bad. That should help us out. Oh, let's talk about two divisions. Not bad, not bad. Including one mechanized division. Not terrible. Ah, look at this. Oh, look at this. Ah, I love it. I love it. Uh, it's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 plus 4 is usually 15. Not always, but usually 15. Delectable. Alright, we're going to go in two. Because these guys are getting too strong. Good. No reds on our border. Absolutely no reds. Hopefully we can do well here. Oh, they're doing force attack, huh? It's fine, it's fine. Hungarians can die. We won't. Hey, we're pushing in already. Nice. Good job, guys. That was bad. Help them out. Uh, can you get down here, too? Yeah, you can. Yeah, help them out, too. Uh-oh. Oh! Four convoys. Four Irish convoys. We'll come back to the Union Britain in a little bit once we've built up our military enough so that we have more than enough military factories for everything. We're going to have a Russian puppet here when we're done. Nice. How many divisions do they have? 190. And the Czechs have how many? Up to 97. They lost a lot of those guys already. We could have 32,000 already. Not bad, not bad. What do we have over here? Anything? No? Hmm. Weird. We have motorized, but actually tank divisions. How, much heavy, how many heavy tanks do we have? Heavy tanks, 82. Not enough. Uh, I don't want to lower our armor amount really right now, so... The Austrians came in to help us out, and we'll go in to help them out as well. Alright, so here, supply is going to be god-awful. Just, completely honest. Just, just god-awful. Maybe right there, and we'll throw one here too. Let's see what we can do. Of course, it's April. It's going to be very muddy. It's going to be very bad fighting for here, but whatever. Tanks, don't lose too much of your strength. Please. For the love of God, please. Sarsen will be very nice. 
How much going do they have left? Do we know? Create the VDB. Oh, yeah. We, they have, like, no anti-tank. Uh, maybe a little bit. Oh, there they go, too. Nice job, guys. Follow Vienna. Um, because I'm so generous, Austria, you can have it. There you go. That looks better for Austria anyways. Good job, guys. So now, you guys just gonna hang out. Actually, do we want to take out Switzerland? We could try. Let's see what happens. Switzerland was a mistake, yeah. That looks really nice. Please don't release them. Just If you could core them, that'd be so good. I'd love it if you could just core them. Are they abandoning the line already? What's going on here? No, they're up, there's, soldiers, there's a lot of soldiers up here. There's little areas here, but they don't have any divisions on the line. Come on, take turrets in. You can do it. We have so much manpower. Fall of New York City, finally, huh? There we go. Extraction campaign, thank you. Excel forces, anything there? Nope. All political actions. Return Portuguese lands. Uh, the German government has been discussing what to do with the Portuguese lands we currently occupy. Land we have no rightful claim to. Should we return the lands for Portuguese allies? Yeah, sure. It's fine. There you go. Wow, communist influence is 99. Hey, there goes the CSA. Good job, PSA. And now they'll probably join the Entente. Or at least soon enough. Oh, look at that. Petrograd. Nice. The fleet's over there, too. Why is it so easy against Russia? 170. 900,000. We've suffered 60,000 casualties to them already. Well. Alright. Uh, okay, so... Is it a victory? Nice. The Legation Council refuses to restore America's voting rights. In response to the American petition to restore the voting right on the Legation Council, the High Commissioner, as unilaterally shut them down, they're too unstable to return to the province of the Far East, he implied. Where the Americans will request it again is unknown, but what is certain is that we should have been consulted on this important matter previously. Everyone with us, please go ahead as well. Um, there we go. Train. Sure. How many more are you now, huh? Fall Petrograd? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Why is Poland the most difficult nation to take out? I mean, Jesus Christ. Makes no sense. Uh, what do we have up here? The, oh, current motion, motion. Oh, you said no. So what's the point of doing it if they already said no? Hmm. Oh, countries with one, two, three. We vote no abstention. We're going to vote yes. Do we like America? Meh. Do we want America to do it? Have voting rights? <laughs> We're gonna abstain. So basically no. Sorry, America. We're not we're not you're not my faction, so. Oh. Who's returning the divorces? Oh we're receiving, yeah, we're receiving, so yeah. Makes sense. Oh! You wanna go to Panama? Nice. Not bad. After that one, uh, modernizer cruisers, not bad. Fortify the North Sea coast. Naval bases, independent sea battalions, lines of Singapore. Independent Luftwaffe, we can do that one. Um, I want to kind of do something else though first. Uh, artillery research, support artillery research. Uh, let's do green and steel. Green and steel are the lifeblood of the great nation. We should make sure it stays as such. We must invest in industrial development and agriculture. Boston returning to Now the war has been lost. Their wars have been lost. International divisions formed from our volunteers that are trying to return to their homes. Many still have their arms and all survivors are battle hard and indoctrinated syndicalists. However, if we prohibit them from entering our borders, we should be able to keep them away without much of a scandal due to the hardening of the German population's views on the Red Menace. Still, we might risk them turning against us when we inevitably come to blows with the international. But how to, to serve their term in the hair? Let them return their families. Close the borders. Turning syndicalists, huh? Return of the families. Hmm. I don't mind getting that. Lose some political power. Them in the front. Go the boards. They chose their fate. They wanted to see their families. Well, they shouldn't have rebelled against us. Or fought against us. They made choices. We make choices in return. I just want to make sure that we don't lose too many tanks to attrition. That's my biggest thing. Right now. The vote fails, of course. Sorry, America. We're fine with it if other people want it, but we don't really care. And down here, do we have any extra spare planes, maybe? Because in this episode, we will be able to get to invade them, so. Uh, yeah, we do these guys, too. 
Thanks, America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, some more. Good. You guys, throw artillery. Oh my gosh, we must be really out. Huh? Only 1,200 pieces, that's all. Huh. Only 1,200 pieces. How many are... Oh, we're still doing... Okay, I'm not going to get off of there. Get some of that too. Uh, Production-wise, guns. Could use a smidgen more, probably. There you go. Anything else here? Nope, that's fine. Anything else? Nope. Good. Good. Seriously, just like one push and we're, and we're just going all the way in. Because I just want them as a puppet. That's really all I want Russia for, just as a puppet. Uh, so we got... Do we have Moscow? We do not have Moscow yet. We're working on it, though. We're getting there. Sure. Sure, everybody. We'll take all your artillery. Wow, 16 convoys. Nice. Good job, guys. Any upgrades yet, Carl? No? Kind of sad, don't you think? How much fuel do these guys have? Because we will need to plan the invasion soon. Uh, Two million. Plenty of fuel. Fleet-wise, not as large as I thought it would be. And plane-wise, they're doing okay. We don't have enough planes yet. We don't have enough fuel yet, either. Uh, yeah. More dockyards. More, 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 more. Attack bombers do that too. Another by five, it's fine. Uh, we need more tanks in now, which sucks. Strategic bombers, so we can nuke some people if we really need to. Mechanize, anti tank. Improve anti air. You know what? You know, you honestly, could probably, probably go down to five. A spot more tungsten. So we build up more cities as well to trade them away. Ah, good. Not done with the land auction yet. M42, which sucks, but whatever. And, okay. Oh, look at that, nice. So Russia, I'm pretty sure, is not close to capitulation at all. They're about halfway, it appears to be. And actually, with you guys... I'm going to have a lot of stuff, probably. No, never mind, over there, then. I want as much intel on these guys so we can go ahead and just start... Oh, they're actually pushing this way, too. That's not bad. Uh, okay, there you go. Don't die over there. Send you to Scotland. Can we get a collaboration government in Russia? God, I hope so. Yes, we can. Smoocher. Infiltrator. Anything here? No. Commando. Carl Weber. Marco. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Thank you. Should have done that a little bit earlier, but whatever. Moskva. A little more attack is always nice. Oh, SR finally died. Thank God. Thank God they finally died. Why can't I grab this? Is it glitched? Very weird, but okay. Yes. Mm, we have 150. I understand why we can't do that. Got some of that too. That'd be very good. Alright, how about over here? Anything over here? No, no. Commando. We got it for this guy, but not this guy. Me no understand. Why? Because we need more religious supply company, support company, support as well. Erolsk? Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. Anything else? Yes. More donations? Yes. I did say that we'd return these guys eventually. Uh, for, by the back to France. Uh, let's save just real quick. Just because if that happens, it says the south. I don't mind giving them the south to begin with. I'm going to keep Paris for now because we need all the air bases. We need all the construction ability up there. So that'll be good to wait for that one. And we're still going to war with Bern. See what happens? Okay, they agree. Obviously, allowed by our generosity, the French national states agreed to offer our offer and has already moved French troops back to some of the southern territories. With the naval program in 1934 well underway, it's incumbent on us to choose how we wish to continue. After all, priorities are shifting in sands in modern naval warfare. Seldom say the long, say the same for long. What should we do? Continue battleship construction. Yeah. That's why we have lots of resistance to deal with down here too. We don't have as much factories, but that's okay. Oh, uh, good that. So, welcome back, guys. Oh, but we still own this. We still own. Not bad. I know we have cores on this too, huh? Enemy Mordecai. 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 Well, welcome back. I still have never played as a French national state because I've never in been interested to do, but you know, maybe someday. Ah, good. Tippets, yes. A lot of red, but whatever. I guess they're doing okay ish. Are we any closer yet? Uh, slightly closer. Not that much closer. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. 
We duplicate a fall of Moscow. Nice. Oh, I thought we already had Moscow. I guess not, though. What are you guys? Naval bombers. Go a little higher. There you go. You guys are fine. You guys over here, duplicate yourselves again. God dang, we need more factories. Uh, go five more. Fighters go ten more. Naval bombers go fi twenty more. Still building ourselves up. Actually, now where are they at? 74 is not bad. We got plenty of rubber. It is 42, of course. Better arty. And better anti-air eventually, too. Arty is looking okay. Mechanized looking no, not bad. Panzers. How many heavy tanks do we have still? 200? Oh, that's not bad. Oops. Reset. Will we have enough? Yes. For you guys. Oh, mechanized. Will we have enough? Yes. Nice. Russian national state. Um, yeah, I'd like to give this to you too, but you know, whatever. Eat up all that resistance, guys. Eat them all up. Ooh, who's this? Ah, convoys. That's why we like to sink. So, uh, how many more days do we have to wait for these guys? This will be a pain in the butt to take out, but that's okay. Oh, 100 more days. Okay, Jesus Christ, that's going to take so long. Would we be able to actually just naval invade? Instead? Calais, go to Dover. Let time go on. The Russians won't be that bad to take out. Especially if we get a collaboration government. Super important to do that so we can have, so we need to take less there. Good. Oh! SRI's gone. Good job, Italian Federation. And where are the Italians? And they are there. Congratulations! Beautiful. The Reich's Pact, the Antons are down here too. And Dona Ejabund. Not bad. Warrenburg has fallen. They're now 70% of the way there. Not bad. Keep building up. Build, 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 build. When in doubt, build, build, build. Plan's looking definitely okay. Not great, but definitely okay. Grain und Stiel. Back for Gaiden. Uh, cancel Lend Lease. Independent Lupapa. We can do that one. Since the Valkyrie, the Red Baron, Manfred Freiherr von Richthofen, has argued for the establishment of independent air force, the Lupapa, as he likes to call it, upon, up until very recently, though, the conservative elements and the traditionally more prestigious ground forces have been able to prohibit this, but with war looming once again, it might be time to consider the Baron's ideas. Maybe. Uh, I want to get down here. Cold of Aviation, which we may not be able to get to, but whatever. Requires one of the following. Uh, Naval Aviation Corps. Another result of the untangling of air warfare from ground warfare has been the founding of a group of aviators focused on naval aviation. These pilots, trained in special courses, are now demanding aircraft to fit their special requirements. Oh, look at this. Convoys? Yes. Oh, no. It's a task force. Actually, a very nice task force. Doesn't, it's not a lot of uh, XP for us, but still okay. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, uh, produce more, please. Produce, produce, produce. When it out, produce more. And when you're done, produce even more after that. Any other uh, port strikes? Yes. Ah, oh, destroyer. Good. Is he still not a Panzer leader? Kind of sad, but whatever. Makes sense. My god, like Russia, you are so weak in this timeline. 9,000 manpower left. Holy crap. They're out of art oh, they have artillery. They're out of guns, though. It's very nice, too. Anyone else we can probably put around here too? Maybe, maybe not. Trickmanistan's gonna get nothing out of this. Uh, send the second guy there too. Oh, get another guy too. Not bad, not bad. You guys are all ready to go. Just bomb the crap out of everybody here. You guys are ready to go as well. But we need more fighters down here. Fighters, close air support. Plenty of casts. I like that. Give it a little bit of time, give it about a day, and we'll see what happens. Can we get up to 100 cash? Or 100? Yes, there it goes. Let's see. Not you, but you. Train. There we go, that's nice. Train. Took all that stuff off, but whatever. Train. Oh, they're doing better here in Bulgaria as well. It's very good. You guys, yes. Over here, yes. Convoys. Oh, a lot of convoys. Nice. Very good. Hit eight over there. Nice. Very good. Russia, Russia, Russia. 
Still doing okay against him. Not great, but not bad. Yes, yes. Fighters, yes. Oh god, we're out of fighters already again. So, losses. Uh, we've lost how many? Um, about 207,000 while we've killed off how many? Almost a million. Not shabby. I do wish I was easy to lost quite a few guys too. So, they should be close. How long is it going to take for a collaboration government progress? So, basically, the beginning of the new year. So, about, you know, what was it? Four months? Four months ish? We'll give them fully, like, they'll, they'll just capitulate within four months. So, that's always good. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yes. Augustine? Uh, Gerhard Jacobs? Yes. More intel, please. More intel. Actually, since we're down here, you know, we can do the same thing, maybe, too. Eventually. Once we get enough to prepare a collaboration government. Not bad. Canada. Two million. Honestly, if, if we if we are the ones who navally invade these guys, we should at least keep something here. Right? 42. Grab some left here. Nice. Right. That only makes sense to me. If we were to navally invade and actually successfully navally invade them, it's the only thing that we should keep some of the territory. Right? Nice, not bad. Anything else over here we could do? Close economy would be nice, but whatever. Infinite loop, Uh Naval Aviation Corps under next. And things. Weapons for Super Africa. How are they doing down here? Oh, uh, they're still doing god awful. Oh my goodness. Really tying them down here, though. But we did get those ports built, I think. So that's pretty good. Cancel on lease. That sucks. Alright, next focus. Yes, 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 yes. After Naval Aviation Corps, Long Range Fighters. As a result of the Bomber Group abduction, the demand on range of air operations has multiplied. Theorists and researchers are demanding new aircraft models to keep up with increasingly aggressive bombardment plans. After the Paris Bomber comes the London Bomber. After that, the Moscow Bomber. And there's no doesn't seem to be an end. Actually, can we actually build on here? <clears throat> you got one supply base there. What if we were to do one right here, too? And I can't build any infrastructure, infrastructure, which sucks, but whatever. And now we're done with our line docking, thank god. Any over here? MP43 is not bad, go with that one too. Get some better guns, very good. Let's see if we can try naval invasion, maybe. So, now it's time to go. Uh, all tactical bombers are going to be right there. You're all probably going to die anyways, but it's fine, whatever. Mm, and you guys, this too. Uh, that's probably going to go very poorly, so let's save, just in case. And if it goes really poorly, then oh well. But, you know, at least we have tried. Alright, come on, save, 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 save. A two birds, one stone type of idea. We capitulate the Russians, we capitulate the British. I think that'd be good. Alright, you guys, over here too. There we go. We have a spare carrier, just in case. Can we go in? Oh, look at those subs. Oh, they have definitely guarded the border quite well. Dover, don't lose Dover. If we can get over here, that'll be really good first. Go here, take them out, bank over here. Come on, come on, land, 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 land. There you go, good. Go in. Support the attack, force the attack. Or you should have made Marines. Oh, well. Oh, no, take division, nice. If anything, I'm going to recall you guys. I guess any guys over here, too. Come on, yes, good. Go in here. That's more important than Portsmouth. On both of you here, too. They completely cut off. They're doing force defense, which is fine with us. We don't really care. Come on, come on. They died. Yes, yes. Yes. Go in. Good. Well, that was a pretty good naval invasion so far. So going there, you guys go there. Nice. Good, and we've done it, my friends. We've done it. We've successfully navally invaded the Union of Britain. As the Spanish are trying to invade Ireland. And they're going to fail really badly, but that's okay. That is a-okay. That's good. You guys are over here anyways. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's not. I'm not going to risk them, because the AI would find some sort of stupid way to pathfind themselves into some stupid area here. Well, let's not do that yet. Extraction? Yes, please. Not bad. 
¿No ha cargado? Make sure the planes we are using. Do we have enough uh, support for these guys? Uh, cast, not enough. Eh, actually, don't need to do that one. Let's just go. Agent captured. Carl. Carl. It's all right, Carl. I'll get you. There you go. Not bad. Go to Bristol. Get them all off. Oh, wow. There's quite a few divisions in Bristol. Aren't there? Yes, there are. Russia is almost completely gone. Oh, never mind. They are gone. Yay, we got them. Good job, guys. Score, 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 score. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be, which is ridiculous, but whatever. I'm fine with that for this campaign. Uh, Russian Empire, Don, Socialist Republic. Don't really care, don't really care, don't really care. Far Eastern Republic, Transamur. Huh, huh. What if we had Transamur as a puppet instead of a Russian Empire? But then again, they're still a monarchy, so. What, Ruthenia? Um. You know, we can weaken, weaken the Russians by giving it to White Ruthenia. Mm. There you go. They have claims on all this territory, which is fine with us. Yeah, weaken them. Anyone else? There you go. I'm just gonna pop. I'm gonna. This is what I almost never do. I'm just gonna pop with them though. Hopefully, we have enough score for this. Could have liberated the transit mirror, but I don't want that. That focus should pop out. So. Wait, did I annex them? Eh, we can always release them as a puppet, anyways. It's fine. Oh, we just annexed them. Well, crap. That was not what I wanted to do. Better radar? Not bad. Okay, get some better radar after that too. Well, they'll, co they'll come popping out soon, too. Anyways, whatever. There we go. Trim finish lands? Yes. Yes. Wait, why do we get the fate of Wallonia again? Fate of Russia. After a long fight with the Russian state, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Moscow is now in our hands, and the fate of Russian soil with it. Balkanize them as much as possible. Releasing Siberia. We could split them, too. I mean, honestly, with the whole power thing, like, we, we'd probably be best to balkanize them. We also want Russia under us, because they're still monarchy, so... A friendly Russia. Yeah, I would actually... This, this, I almost never do this, but... It's only one country. Obviously, we, it might be better if we just annex them like we did with Volonia. Um, and the Netherlands, but... Eh, I don't know. At this point, we could annex them. Kind of went back to my word with this stuff, but whatever. And it's going to take a while to do this, so I apologize for the, uh... The lag. But we're almost done with the campaign anyways. The Union of Britain won't last that, that long, hopefully. And that should be the last major power in the third international, so shouldn't be too bad. So if you want to skip ahead in like 30 seconds to see where we're at, I would probably advise that just because this is really Cause Redux is pretty laggy sometimes. Actually, very, 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 very laggy. But overall, for this campaign, not bad. Uh, I don't know why the Polish were just so strong. Twelve plus 20 entrenchment really does beat you up a little bit, but you know whatever. Hey, be the fourth. Welcome back. Now you're our little uh, female dog boy. We'll put it like that. Yeah. The fate of a Russian puppet. Russia has been united or unified under the sheer might and awe-inspiring power of the Kaiserreich's military. The largest nation on the planet subjugated by the greatest military power on Earth. We could have easily bent the nation to our own desire of, and uh, oppressed the local Russian population without obstruction uh, or reproach, but instead we graciously decided to bring civilization to this uh, savage frozen wasteland. As the war machine tore through the nation, in its wake we planted the seeds of Prussian constitutionalism. The noblest form of government in existence, as exemplified by the glorious Kaiserreich, our efforts are now paid off, for a collaborative government has finally begun to pay dividends, stabilizing the bulk of the Russian heartland under its rule, and paving the way for an able administration to take the rein to the Russian people's destiny. However, now we must decide what form of government this new puppet state shall be. Russia long, has a long and storied history of monarchism, and so much so that the autocratic rule comes naturally to them. Keeping in line with Berlin, we could fill the Russian throne with true noble blood. The prime candidate is Prince Louis Ferdinand von Preussen, both a Hohenzollern by blood and a Romanov by marriage, being Wilhelm the third son and married to Grand Duchess Karela Karelovna, who herself is daughter of Grand Duke Karel Vladimirovich, cousin to Tsar Nicholas II and grandson of Tsar Alexander II. However, we were to choose this Young prince, Prussian prince, we would likely face great backlash from the Russian populace. With that in mind, perhaps it would be more wise to let the Russian people decide their own fate under the hegemo hegemony of the Russian Kazakh. Ivan the Seventh. Russian Republic. Ivan the Seventh, yeah. Sorry, but 
if you didn't want to lose, well, you should have lost. Hey, look at this guy. Wow, what do they have here? Russian Bonaparte. We have Russian Bonaparte. We have Legacy of the Whites. Sure, guys. Um, research delays. State revanchism. Experience military. They're paternal autocrats, of course. National Command Formation School. Experience army. Okrana. Russian... Do they have this twice? Plus, is that 30% more organization because of that? Am I wrong? Hold on. Yeah. Plus 5%, plus 5%. Mmm. Uh. Is that stuff? Okay, whatever. Oh, we lost up here, huh? Is it convoys? It's, it's only fine. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, you don't want to lose your base. No, 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 no. Force the attack. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Do that too, it's fine. Get those tanks in there too. Uh, if anything, I want the Fugas here too. Get moving. We don't want to lose what we've already earned. Good. Get them off. Tankies. Oh, you're over there. Oh, you're almost there. Anyways. Go, 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 and go in as fast as you possibly can. Nice. Oh, look at all these convoys. Now we're finding all the ships. Now we're finding them all. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're at war with the Islamic Federation, huh? Should have seen that one coming. If you guys want to deal with this, that's fine with me. Deal with aviation, that's fine. We're pretty crappy fighting through here, but whatever. You guys, come home to Russia. Come home from Russia, I mean, I should mean. It's fine. Spain invaded Southern Ireland. Look at that. Oh, destroy those fleets. Yes, please. Good. Come over here. That's fine. All right, everybody, you want to come in? That's fine with me. There you go. And there you go. Long range bombers. Oh, look at them convoys. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, let those tanks and horses and motorized go. I don't think we'll get any other focus after done after done with this one, but Paderborn Louv Kriegsschule. Establishment of formalized school for aviators will help immensely in unifying and promoting this currently somewhat disorganized field. There are a lot of heroes of air warfare from the Valkyrie, the most famous of course being the Red Baron himself, whose insight can still be valuable to new recruits. There they can part impart their wisdom to a new generation of German pilots. Absolutely. You bring the program? Um, let's go to the squad. We're going to destroy next. Oh, we're out of motorized? That sucks. I don't know why you guys went over there. So, fall of Dublin. Yay! Good job, guys. Dublin's gone. Yeah, just Union of Britain. That's left. That's all that's left. Oh, we can go to war with these guys now. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, actually, with you guys here, that's not bad. Yeah. How uh, many more days do we have to wait for that one? Oh, it's Oh, we got time. We got plenty of time for that one. Hey, you guys are going to die in Wales? Yes, you will. How much longer do we have to go? Not that much further. Scotland's not that valuable, according to Kaiser, Kaiser Redux. Don't blame me, Dune. That's just what they wanted. It's fine. Oh, look at this. Ooh, yeah. Very nice. Uh, I don't care. Just some in there, too. Why not? A little bit of a penalty, but whatever. Have you learned anything? Oh, it's level 5 instead of level 4 now. It's better. He's learning more. Yes. Level 3 defense. Oh, this is looking nice. Go, tanky boys. Go. We're actually using tanks in this timeline. I love it. Von Manstein's here now, too. Good. Actually, we need this stuff too, if possible. No. Yes. Uh, bold attack, maybe. Whose face is this? Why is there a face here? Is it with a spear? Uh, we could have used this one earlier, but whatever. We're kind of okay with that. States, there's a military, more political power. We don't need any more political power. Cavalry attack. We could definitely use that one too. We don't have any railway guns, which does suck, but we'll grab probably this one. Have a heritage, yeah. Yeah, why not? Not quite 43 yet. Better logistics? Sure, why not? Still losing quite a bit of fuel. Anything else here? Road. Oh, yes. Please. 
Don't know how to pound later, huh? Y'all ready to go in? Do the best you can. Call on all the entire Reich spec to destroy the Swiss. 23,000, that should drop. Oh, they, they literally just changed the limited conscription. Nice. Not super worried about that, but whatever. Ah, the universe gone. We did it! Alright, so let's take all the score and we'll divide things up fairly. Uh, we'll give Austria Greece. Where is Austria here? Right there. You want some Greek boys here? Bolivia. Why do we want Bolivia? Give that to Brazil. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Where are you? Are you? There's Um. Cape Commune. I think we really deserve it, but. We'll all just. Ah, so many ways. Uh, Chile, Brazil can have that one too. Well, since we're the leader, we're going to take all this too. Thank you. Um, uh, Italy. There you are. Uh, we'll take everything and we'll just divide it up after this. We'll probably get some sort of peace deal event, so I'll just take it all for now. Hey, not bad. We're still World of Swiss. Oh, it's god darn Swiss, but whatever. Oh, good, next up. Theodor von Hippel has formally requested permission from the German government to return to Sudwest Africa and reestablish provisional Sudwest Afrikanische Kolonial Gesellschaft cabinet in preparation for the post-war peace. Yes, returning British territory. According to the terms of the Halifax Conference, which we agreed to, the territory we've acquired in the Great Britain should rightfully be returned to the Entente, if we must. No, I don't recall having traveling to Halifax. How odd. Hmm. Returning French territory. According to the terms of the Halifax Conference, we agreed to, the territory should be given to them. What? Wait, do we give them everything back? I think we did agree to you to that, but we d they don't deserve some of this. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, we got screwed out of this. We got screwed. Are you kidding me? But they have to join us, right? They still have to join us. That's crap. Ugh. I don't know why the state chancellor Tumod, you need a special version of it to use in Kaiser Redux. This should be ours still. This should be ours still. If anything, w what? This would be so Ireland, I guess, but they're supposed to join our faction, right? Oh, we have Norway too. Um, Norwegian army surrendered and completely capitulated the Norwegian government. Our flags now wave over the former capital building, and also as our military campaign comes to an end. Now we must begin a campaign to destroy the Norwegian partisans, but perhaps enlisting Norwegian sympathizers to form a government would aid us? Uh, we'll give them that for now. I forgot I was going to give them to uh, the Swedes, but whatever. Fate of Ireland. We've secured Ar the Ireland, Ireland. The fate of the Irish nation lies in our hands. Well, unlike the British, we now fear a few potato farmers. Fate of South Africa. Finally, the African Dominion of South Africa has capitulated to our glorious armies, which now, we, which now march through the Cape. After the start of our military occupation, now that the war is finished, some voices have arisen claiming that we need to create a, South, a puppet South African nation to keep the area under control. But during those discussions, another issue has been brought up on the table. If we do create the puppet state, should it have the protectorates of Bayushan Lana and the Rhodesia that South Africa seized in 1925, or should we reduce their zone of influence to the core of the country? Military occupation sounds really good to me. Yeah. Dropping the French exiles only because of us. Literally only because of us. They're supposed to join our faction, are they not? Do we get an event here? We should get an event, right? Yeah, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello, where is the event for us to do that? Do we have to be peace first, maybe? Did we get cocked by those guys over there? Oh, how, how are we doing so badly? That supply really sucks here, but still. Armored torpedoes are nice. Um, go over there, maybe? They backstabbed us in the Halifax Conference. We said earlier, uh, was it last episode, for the Halifax Conference, that they would be forced to join us. They join our economic sphere of influence. Because if they don't, I'm just use, going to use cons commands and annex them. This is not fair. That's 100% not fair. We, we, we are the ones who invaded the UK. The Union of Britain. And this is how they treat us? Are you kidding me? Bro. Where's Venezuela? How many more... Hmm. I hate the Islamic Confederation. It's... If this has become too difficult to fight. Like, they need to reduce the military, uh, like, your supply or something like this, just because this is ridiculous. Like, this is, this is, this, no wonder the Russians couldn't do anything here, because supplies are so god-awful. But, I want to capitulate Swiss, 
If not, I'm just going to annex the French. I'm going to use Khan's commands because that's not that's not fair to us. That's completely not fair. Why? Is this is it not in the game? I mean, it, it appears to be bugged. If it's if we can't just add him to our sphere of influence, they should not be in the Entente anymore. And we're supposed to get all of our colonies in Africa as well as Asia. So. We're going to get a war goal against them. Maybe we'll give them until they start rebuilding their legacy, but. Uh, trial the. Rebuild the North. Rebirth from Ruins. Renew Diplomacy. Indestructible Bonds. Yeah, no. I think the game is glitched out on us or something. Nazi question. The thaw. You should be under us. You literally have to be under us. Yeah, no, the game is... Maybe it's just not in the game yet. So, alright. As you can see, I, I tabbed over to see what it's like. Annex. NFA. You're not going to get all the territory if you're not going to be in our faction. So, go kill yourself, France. How about going to turn Italian lands? Yeah. So, I'm not going to... No, just, that's just crap. That's really just crap. Oh, we got Swiss, though. I'm not going to tolerate that. Are you kidding me? We literally deserve all the territory. And they didn't deserve any of that Belgium. Absolutely not. Absolutely positively literally not. That's crap. That's complete crap. We did so well. So well. And to get treated like that in the end? No thank you. No flippin' thank you. Switzerland. Across the old... Uh, uh, old Swiss Confederation, the French, German, and Italian-speaking cantons are starting to experience small-scale revolts against the garrisons. Granting independence, the Swiss would appease its dissent, while also guaranteeing another valuable member in our alliance. Some right-wing politicians, however, propose a complete dissolution of the old confederation, proposing annexing certain parts of the Reich, or even all of it, or maybe even a partition of Switzerland with France and Italy. Um, we could do the territory we've acquired in France should be rapidly turned the Entente. Canada gets. Hold on. If we do that, does Canada get all France? Ooh. If you want to buy Algiers, please go ahead. If you want to rebuy Tunisia, please go ahead too. What the heck? Why? Why is this bug to hell and back? Ah, oh, screw it. I'm not going to annex him. But hey. You know what? There's still bugs in Kaiser Redux that still do not fire correctly, which is un this is very disappointing. So whenever you're doing the Halifax conference, you might as well just not even agree to anything because the game is bugged to heck still. But hey, if you enjoy the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.